previous description of malloc calloc and realloc is clear now the remaining part is free after allocation of this memory it's the programmer's responsibility to free that memory because this memory is getting allocated in the heap area so while so after the use of this memory it's the programmer's responsibility to free this memory otherwise this memory will remain allocated till the end of the execution of whole program and the memory allocated for a program is certainly limited so if you don't take care of this freeing the memory your program may go out of memory at some time so it's your responsibility to free the memory it's very simple to free the memory just you have to call free with the pointer which is re returned by malloc calloc or realloc so malloc calloc or realloc will be returning a, a void pointer you just have to free this pointer to free that memory location that's very simple this is a small program where i am illustrating the use of malloc calloc realloc and free so in this program i have defined a structure some small structure which contains two float variables x and y it's a the name of the structure is point and i have also defined the type def so i can simply use a point as another user defined data type structure so i am defining two pointers pt1 and pt2 of type point remember after defi after a definition of this just two pointers are defined and no memory is yet allocated you cannot use or you cannot dereference these pointers yet because you have not yet allocated any memory these both of these pointers are by default pointing to null now in this statement actually i am allocating memory for pt1 so pt1 is equal to point asterisk of malloc size of point so here here i am type casting the return value of malloc and i am mallocing size of point so after execution of this statement pt1 will be assigned the pointer which points to the memory location of size point it is always a good programming practice to check whether the allocation has been done or done properly or not proper amount of memory was present or not if the amount of memory which is required to be allocated is not present malloc will return a null value so the pt1 will be assigned value null so here i am checking if pt1 is equal to null i am printing cannot allocate memory of so size size of point so if the malloc fails this log will be printed in the next example i am showing the same thing with calloc here calloc uh, requires two point two argument so first argument is size of point and i just want one unit of point so i am writing it one again i am type casting to the point star so pt2 will be assigned a pointer which points to size of point into one size of memory again i am checking whether the return pointer was not null if it's a null i am simply printing and actually i am supposed to exit here as well so simply printing is not enough the next statement should be exit minus 1 or something so i will just terminate the program now along with this i will have to at the end of the program where the use of this pt1 and pt2 is complete immediately i am supposed to free pt1 after the use of pt1 i am supposed to free pt1 after the use of pt2 i am supposed to free pt2 this is correct program now say i want to allocate some more memory to pt1 somehow i came to know i am just deleting this uh, free pt1 as of now here i am freeing pt2 pt1 is still required now in some flow i came to know that pt1 amount of memory that is size of point is not enough i need to allocate some more memory to pt1 i can use realloc structure so i can write pt1 equal to again it will give me a pointer uh, sorry uh, yeah pointer so i will have to type cast it instead of malloc i have to do use realloc the this will be ptr sorry pt1 
my pointer was pt1 and now the new size say i want to allocate 100 some size i'm just giving it's just an example here probably i'll be writing something like size of point into 10 why to give some hypothetical example only let me give size of point into 100 i want to store 100 number of pointers so let me give it clearly okay so this will actually reallocate pt1 to new pointer this is actually not a good programming practice because in case this much amount of memory is not present with the my programming machine that is size of point into 100 amount of memory is not present it will it will simply return null value and once ptr is assigned null value all the earlier used memory will be also lost so the good programming practice is always assign it to tmp check if tmp is not null if tmp is not null only then pt1 is equal to tmp else tmp was null so print some log and some log that i want to exit or something or so so much memory was not there and simply exit minus one it's always a good practice to use braces for every loop statements so else should also have braces and that's it okay here after the use again i will have to free this pt1 that thing you are supposed to do after the use but in this programming example it's just a pure example here i am showing how to use malloc calloc and realloc and along with that you are supposed to free every variable in this programming example i guess there are some syntax errors like i have missed the semicolon here and also i have not defined tmp no i have uh, defined tmp here but after writing this there may be some syntactical errors let me just go ahead and compile the program once yes it is now in compilable state so that's it about this video in this video uh, we have seen how to allocate the memory how to reallocate memory or how to use calloc this thing that's it about this video thank you feel free to browse more videos on securitytube.net on c programming and also other hacking stuff thank you